Hi, my name is Mark Renz. I'm with the University of Wisconsin Extension, and I'm here to talk to you about how to identify plumeless thistle. It's one of our biennial thistles. It's very common throughout Wisconsin. Uh, this plant is difficult to distinguish from other biennials, but the key component is, is that we differentiate it as a biennial thistle versus our perennial, creeping perennial thistle, Canada thistle, because management is similar across all biennial thistles. Plumeless thistle really is common to a lot of different areas, but is most frequent on roadsides, pastures, and right-of-way areas where there is some level of disturbance. How we identify this plant from others is by looking at several key characteristics. First, if we look at the leaf like I have here, we see that it is quite divided, as we do see, uh, with some small spines on it up and down the stem. Uh, if we look at the hairiness of the leaf, we see the upper side of the leaf tends to be not hairy. Maybe some of the older leaves will have a few small hairs. But if we flip this over and look at the underside of the leaf, we see we have distinct hairs along the midrib right here, which is a key characteristic in identifying this plant. Small spines are present as well, too. Now moving on to the stems as we see here, we see along the stems here, we see that we do have some quite a bit of spininess along the stems. These are actually small leaves that are on here, but it does appear to have a very spiny stem which many of the other leaves do not have. Now moving up to the flowers as we see here, these flowers in contrast to the other thistles are quite small, anywhere from a half inch to an inch in diameter, and they do have spines that are present on them called bracts, but they are quite a bit elongated and spaced out differentially compared to some of our other thistles. Another good key identifier. Uh, this plant does hybridize and is similar to musk thistle, and so often you'll see plants that have some of the characteristics of musk thistle and plumeless thistle on a plant, so don't be um, concerned if you see that. Again, management is the same. So in review, having highly divided leaves that have hair on the midrib of the underside of the leaf, spines on the stem, and a smaller flower that's about anywhere from a half inch to an inch in diameter should help you identify this biennial thistle correctly. Good luck.